When you're diagnosed with cancer, you can be hit with a range of feelings. Collection, wave, tsunami. <laughs> so are we going? Fear, confusion. I also felt guilt because I've got young kids, but I never expected to feel lucky. I'm ABC journalist Mary Lloyd, and in 2019, I found a lump in my breast, which, like most women, I knew to watch for. What I quickly learned is breast cancer is more complicated than that. You see, that lump, even though it was cancerous, became my lucky lump because it tipped off one of my doctors that there was more going on than they realized. What they discovered was a type of cancer that I had never heard of. It doesn't form a mass, and that makes it more likely to be missed on mammograms, and so that means it's harder to detect. This is my story about finding a cancer that almost stayed hidden, what women can do to protect themselves, and how I learned the hard way about lobular breast cancer. He very possibly saved my life, and yet I'd never met him. He's a pathologist, and they mostly hang out in laboratories. So this is where I'm gonna meet Professor Andrew Field. I'm really excited to meet him because he was such a crucial part of seeing me through to the other side of, of cancer. But he's also, he's got that little part of me in his laboratory there. I'm a bit nervous really about having a look at this, this part of me that really was life-threatening. Hello. We nice meet. <laughs> at last. How are things? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm well. I'm very well. All right. And it's largely thanks to you. And Doing my routine work, yeah, but thank you very much. I'm, I'm just really grateful. That's all right. That's all right. Do you want to see where it all happens? Uh, yes. Show you around a little bit? Yeah, yeah. My initial diagnosis followed a common path. A lump I had felt turned out to be cancerous. The tumour was removed and sent here to St Vincent's pathology lab. We'll be able to say, well, the, the cancer is in, in a particular block. And then we'll I look at that and I, I can't see anything, but as a, as a trained pathologist, can you look at that and see something cancerous? That's it in there? Yeah, you see it's grey. Yeah. And it's actually got a couple of little reddish yellow streaks, which are where the core valves has gone in. Yeah. So we, we can clearly see that. Yeah. And it is confronting, <laughs> isn't it? See a piece of yourself handled, you know, methodically, correctly. But I'd rather, I'd rather know it's sitting it's in a there. laboratory. <laughs> rather than in you. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Once that little piece of me had been processed in the laboratory, Professor Field was able to examine it closely under a microscope. It's a very solid mass. This is all cancer through here. And check the tissue around it. This is when my lump became lucky. So we're screening this and looking and looking and looking, and then we found this. So this is a second cancer. There's an invasive lobular cancer here these little strands of cells. As if one cancer wasn't enough, they had found a second cancer. My initial diagnosis had already been a shock. When my surgeon told me they'd also found another type of breast cancer on the edge of the lump, I fell apart. Before my adventure in Cancerland, I had no idea there were different types of breast cancer and that they behave differently. Here's what I've since discovered. There are many different types of breast cancer. 80% of breast cancers are the lump variety. You might hear this called ductal cancer. The cells of this type of cancer generally grow in a mass. There are other forms of breast cancer, which are generally classified as rare, but the one that I had was lobular breast cancer, which makes up 10 to 15% of cases. 
It behaves in quite a unique way. The cells form in single file strands, not in a tight clump. Normal cells have a molecule on the cell membrane that allows them to stick together. It's called E. cadherin. This protein is often missing in the cells of lobular breast cancer, which allows the cancer to infiltrate the tissue, forming thin strands rather than growing in clumps. And it goes out very, very diffusely. These are cancer cells. The surprise find meant I needed more extensive surgery because we couldn't be sure how much there was or where it was. They're running through all through the breast. And so we needed Professor Field's help a second time. So then you had your second operation and this is all normal breast tissue. And then as we kept on looking, we found this. So again, this is lobular cancer, little strands of cells. And we found, I think, 13 of these little foci, and they're very separate from each other. That's right. There were 13 places in my breast where lobular cancer had set up shop, and I couldn't feel any of it, nor did it show up on any of my scans. I'm not the only woman to find out about lobular cancer the hard way. Hi! <laughs> Great to meet you. Good to see you. How are you going? Good. I met Becky Collins through an online lobular cancer group. Had you ever heard of lobular cancer before? No, I actually hadn't. I had no idea that there was a subtype of breast cancer that uh, evaded detection. She's no stranger to breast cancer. I lost my mum to breast cancer. And since I was 35, I've had regular mammograms and ultrasounds, and I do a lot of self-checks. Her experience with lobular cancer followed a similar path to mine. So when I found the um, thickening on the side of the breast last year, uh, I was straight in to have a mammogram and ultrasound, like the next week, and it all came back clear. Four months later, the mother of two girls was again worried. I just kept feeling it getting harder and thicker, and it was changing. Her GP sent her for another scan, this time an MRI. The patch of tissue Becky had been worried about was, in fact, lobular breast cancer. I was so upset. I was so angry. I just couldn't understand how it could be missed on screening. To see why finding lobular cancer can be so tricky, I asked a radiologist who specialises in detecting breast cancer to take a look at my original images. Hello. Hello. Happy to meet you. You too. So this is an image here of yes. my breast that we now know had lots of little points of lobular cancer in it. Is there anything you can see there that would point to that? Well, nothing immediately, no. Breasts are made up of tissue that holds the structure of the breast, tissue that produces milk and carries it to the nipple, and fat. On a mammogram, the black areas are fat. The rest shows up as white. Now, tumours are also white, so radiologists look for lump shapes or other distortions like this. But if a cancer doesn't form a lump, it can get missed. Lobulars are definitely more difficult to detect and they don't grow as a mass. They tend to grow into the adjacent tissues just as little lines of tumour cells. So what would be the chances of picking up lobular cancer on images like these? It would be fairly low. Unless the tumour had caused a mass-like effect, it would be very difficult to identify. And there's something else that made it hard to find both my and Becky's cancers. So this is a very white, very dense mammogram. Some women have denser breasts than others. They have more of the tissue that shows up as white. It's categorised from A to D. Very dense breasts can look like a snowstorm and are more likely to develop breast cancer. 
it's also harder to find a tumour in a dense breast. It's a bit like finding a snowball in a snowstorm. We would normally recommend that anybody who has a CD density went on to ultrasound examination because it's likely that you might miss something on the mammogram. If, after having a mammogram and an ultrasound, you're still worried about changes to your breast and you're willing to pay for it, you can now also ask to have an MRI or a contrast-enhanced mammogram. So this is a relatively fatty breast. There's a patchy area of white density, but nothing definite in terms of mm. an abnormality. If we turn on the contrast, there's this obvious tumour here. So something that's very subtle on the mammogram and could have been missed can be very easily seen on a contrast enhanced image. Sometimes scans miss things, but you can still catch lobular cancer early and it starts with knowing your own body. People need to be aware that their breast looks different, feels different, not just that they have a lump. It's not checking your breasts every month or every two months or every six months or never. It's checking them every single day. So when something does change, you'll notice that change. That's how I noticed that my breast was different because it wasn't a lump. It just felt different. My lobular cancer tumour was found through the luck of having two cancers at once and because of a thorough pathologist. Becky's was picked up because she chased further scans and because she knew her own breasts, their size, shape and density. So, if you notice any changes, have them checked out. And if you're still worried, be like Becky and advocate strongly for yourself. <laughs>